Okay, looks like uh, instead of 1.3, we got the 1.2.10. I think I called this a while back. I was pretty sure they were going to do something like this and drop some big changes in a beta branch first before I, I'm pretty sure that 1.3 is going to have some major, major changes to the game and we weren't ready for those or they weren't ready to give us those yet. So we did get some, some changes here. Scrolling through this, I did mark some of the stuff I wanted to talk about. So 1.2.10, um, the crashes they fixed. So the, the first one on the list here, um, a crash that occurred in the encyclopedia when switching between characters quickly. I actually saw this one uh, myself. I had that repeatedly. I couldn't figure out what it was. And then for whatever reason, I just slowed down when going through the, I don't know, after that crash like three times. I was trying to reproduce it and I was going really slow and everything seemed to work. So that quickly thing, I think it was trying to do something else in the code and it wasn't ready yet. And it just, so I saw that one. I'm glad they fixed that because it was really annoying. Most of these other ones I read through here already. I didn't see any of these. So we get down to here when you, um, pressing the click to continue button during a very, the very first frame of a map conversation. Sometimes in map conversations, I would just start clicking really fast just to get rid of it. Uh, Cause I knew what was coming. I was like, all right, let me just get through this. And I had this crash multiple times and I couldn't figure out, you know, what I did wrong. Uh, but now I know there's, I'm just going too quick. So now I'm just going to, they fixed it, but I'm going to slow down anyway. Uh, some of these other ones, I didn't see any of these crashes through here or because I, I really experienced very few crashes, um, in, in 1.2.9. Assigning a hero to a claimed alley. I got, I actually did that repeatedly. I, for whatever reason, I couldn't assign someone uh, to an alley without the game crashing. So I'm glad they fixed that because I had given up on alleys at that point. So now I can go back and play with those again. Uh, and the rest of these I didn't see. So um, bug fixes. A bug that caused donated troops and prisoners to stay in your party. So this was that exploit. I'm not sure who found this. Uh, if it was uh, Anand that found this. Somebody found this and... I think Flesson made a video on it, but it's, uh, this was crazy. You were, you could exploit this and get, uh, tons of money. And I, I believe you got XP for roguery on this as well, if I'm not mistaken. So the next one, the bug that prevented certain crafting pieces from being, from producing legendary items. Now this was huge. This was a lot of people were complaining about this. I made a video about this but it didn't really cover this bug per se. The issue here was that the, when you were crafting an item, um, some items like axes only had three parts to it, a head, a handle, and a pommel. There was no guard on it. But the, the way they made crafting, crafted weapons is that they all required four parts, and if you didn't have four parts, it would crash. So they put a default or a hidden fourth part that you wouldn't see when you're making an ax, but they counted that when they did the, the divisor, like when they took the tier of all of the parts and divided it by the number of parts used, it was, they, they included that, that hidden none part or null or I think they call it none in places where you actually have four parts and you don't want to use one. I behind the scenes I think it was just a null uh, a null part. But either way, they sh I'll have to test this out, but it should be able to make legendary axes now and this was a, a big deal for a lot of people. So that's cool that they fixed that. The bug that caused parties slash armies to continue besieging a settlement, even in the presence of a larger threat nearby, 
when it was otherwise no longer logical. This is really huge. Like it used to be, you just bring your, your giant party towards someone besieging one of your settlements. Then they had a smaller party and they'd run away from you. And that was just a quick way to get rid of that. But for whatever reason in the decision making, they didn't run any anymore. So it was like an, an easy, oh, let me just pounce on this other army real quick since they can't get away. They're never going to escape. They're always going to stay here. So whatever logic that they fixed here, and it was probably just not checking. That's all. It, it's probably what it was. They just weren't checking to see if anything nearby is coming. And they probably added the check back. It, it may be that simple. A bug that prevented the coming of age notification from appearing. Yeah, I've been missing that. I I haven't seen that in a while. Um I, I think it's been I think it's been a couple of versions that we haven't seen that. I don't I don't re I just don't remember seeing it in a while. Fixed a bug that prevented some companions from being listed on the party role selection screen. Yeah, like you couldn't put certain companions and I forget the steps I did for this, but you like once you assigned him as that role and then unassigned him, I think you couldn't assign him back. I think that's what it was when I was playing around with it. Um, but I'm glad they fixed that because that was really annoying. Fixed a bug that prevented the assigned governor from teleporting to the target settlement. Yeah, I don't think this was the one where the governor would bounce around in different settlements. I think this was one where you assigned some party member one of your companions or family as a governor and they would never show up in that that settlement for whatever reason. They would get stuck somewhere in some other settlement or something. The encyclopedia said they were there, they weren't there, but I tried to sign someone as a governor and they never showed up for whatever reason. I thought it would just it was gonna take time and then I looked back and they weren't there. So I'm glad they fixed this one as well. Fixed a bug that prevented the Campaign dot add attribute points to hero. That one I saw. Uh, declare peace and declare war cheats from working correctly. So, yeah, when um, there was an issue with the add attribute points to hero, and there was another cheat. I'm pretty sure there's another cheat that wasn't working. I mean, beyond these three. Um, and it was an ad thing, like, and I looked at the code for it. It might have, it might have been this ad attribute points to hero. Because when I checked the code for it, there was there was something illogical, like it would look to see if the number was less than a certain amount or greater than a certain amount, and then there was no in between. So it couldn't be less than zero, and it couldn't be more than something something else like 10 or something, but it never, there was never an in-between. So if you put anything in between zero and 10, it would just ignore it. And because it ignored it, it threw an error saying that you're out of the range or something like that. I think that's what it was. Um, and that's the one that I encountered when I was trying to create something. Like when you're trying to, when I'm trying to set up something for a video, I like to just build uh, as much as I can through the cheats rather than doing it the long way. And that was one of the issues I ran into, was this. Reduce the load times for consoles. That's good for you console folks. Uh, and then multiplayer. I don't play any multiplayer at all, so none of these affect me. So that's, this is pretty, this is pretty good. They did fix one exploit. They fixed the, uh, the legendary, um, crafting legendary weapons issue. Um, they fixed the army's not running when a larger army is coming after them while they're besieging. The coming of age notification should be back. Um, those four right there have been, seem like they've been here for a little while. And um, I'm, I'm glad they fixed these. They got rid of an exploit. That's good. Oh, the companions, not being able to assign companions at roles. That's good. And I, I only ran into that governor thing once. So there might've been some weirdness with it. And I'm glad they fixed the cheats because I'd, I'd like to use those again when I'm trying to uh, contrive a scenario 
uh, for a video, I like to use the cheat, the, the cheat menu to do that. So they did get some good fixes here. Um, some, uh, three, at least three bug crashes that I ran into are fixed a whole bunch more that I didn't experience. So again, we're not looking at 1.3. We're only looking at 1.2.10 and this is a beta branch. So you have to folks on console, you're going to have to wait for everyone on the beta branch to test it before they push this out to you guys. Uh, if they don't mention the time frame for that, but they do appreciate that we opt into the branch and play as we otherwise would and provide feedback. See that provide feedback is a big deal on these forums. Um, they want you to, to do um, submit crash dumps or crash reports or bug fixes and stuff like that. They want you to do that if you're using the beta branch. And that's the whole purpose of the beta branch. People, they don't actually do the bug reports. They just show up and complain. So I'll save my, uh, my, my complaining about the complaining. But that's it. Thanks for watching. Peace out.